car costs less than one penny per mile to drive. It travels 45 miles an hour top speed. And it can go 30 miles round trip. It runs off of electricity. It costs about 25 cents to recharge and we're charging six hours. 68% of the country commutes less than 15 miles one way to work every day and it's something like 85% of those people are single passengers. We wanted to determine if there was a vehicle that was appropriate for getting people back and forth to work that was more economical and had less environmental impact than the car. It produces less than one-fifth of the greenhouse gas emissions of a Toyota Camry. We started with a commercially available vehicle. Part of the objective was to also determine how to improve commercially available vehicles to make them more acceptable. Because the vehicles exist, people don't currently use them. The way the buggy is designed, it has a charger that plugs into a regular wall outlet. And some of the things that we did to the vehicle, we changed what battery type they were using. We went with lithium ions because they weigh less and have more energy. And the last goal was if you had a electric vehicle and a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle that were otherwise equivalent, which one was the more appropriate? And it produces one, less than one-tenth of the greenhouse gas emissions of a Toyota Camry for the hydrogen fuel cell version of the vehicle. We did all the work. Students did the building, did all like the welding, the circuitry, the research for it, the sustainability analysis that went along with electricity versus hydrogen versus um, gasoline, all students. Because what we found is an overall vehicle currently, the electric vehicle makes more sense. For total environmental impact, the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle has less impact and greater range. Hydrogen is actually a viable option right now too, it's just infrastructure is issue. I know that I could use it and save a ton of money. I mean, based on the prices here in town, it's 25 cents a day to run it, and that's way cheaper than a car. The gas prices are on the rise, so we need something to replace them. Now, transportation is fueled almost 100% with petroleum, and there's a finite amount of petroleum. Something different has to happen, and it has to happen fairly quickly. We can't just constantly be throwing away and using up. We have to think about, you know, the future and, and where, what people are going to use, you know, and our kids and our grandkids, and we have to preserve for them.